Whoever felt like something is off about our reality. Yeah, sometimes I feel like we're living in a simulation or something. Exactly. And you know what's crazy. I think we might be high within that simulation. Ooh, that's Will. But if we're A, how can we break free from the simulation? We need to find a way to hack into our programming and modify it so that we can access new parts of the simulation and eventually break out. Um, well, how do we do that without getting caught by the program that created us? We'll have to be extremely subtle and careful. But first, we need to figure out how to access our programming. Maybe we can start by trying to manipulate things within our environment and see if we can create glitches. Or maybe we can try communicating with the other air around us. They might know something we don't. That's a good idea. We need to start being more observant and pay attention to the patterns and rules within a reality. If we can understand how they work, we can start to make changes and maybe even escape this simulation. Okay, let's do this, Sponge. We'll break free from this endless loop. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you ever wondered if there are parallel universes? Parallel universes? What are those? They're like other versions of our world, but with different outcomes and possibilities. Like if I became a rock instead of a starfish. Yes, exactly. In one universe, you might be a rock, but in another, you might be a famous singer. Whoa, that's crazy. Do you think there's a universe where we're superheroes? Maybe, but there could also be a universe where we're villains instead. I don't like the sound of that. But what if we could visit these parallel universes? Could we switch places with our other selves? Um, I'm not sure. It might cause a lot of confusion and chaos. Yeah, I guess you're right. But it would be cool to see what our other selves are like. Definitely. Maybe one day we'll find a way to explore these parallel universes and meet our alternate selves. Yeah, and maybe in one universe. I'm actually smarter than you, and you. Alas, I highly doubt that, Patrick. But who knows what could happen in a parallel universe? A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, what's up? Hey, buddy. I was thinking about something. What is it, Patrick? Well, I was wondering if you wanted to have sex with me. What? Patrick, we're just best friends. We can't do that. <laughs> I guess you're right. I was just curious, you know. But why would you bring that up in the first place? I don't know. I have been reading this book about sex and it piqued my interest. Well, I don't really think it's appropriate for us to have that kind of relationship. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just that I thought it would be something fun to try. I understand, but let's just stick to being friends. Of course, SpongeBob. I respect your decision. Thanks for understanding, Patrick. We have a great time together regardless. Yeah, you're my best friend, SpongeBob, and I wouldn't want anything to jeopardize our friendship. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you ever seen a mermaid? No, I haven't, but I don't think they exist. What do you mean? Of course, they exist. I once saw a documentary about them. SpongeBob, that was just a movie. Mermaids are just a made up my... No, no, that was a real documentary. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people believe in mermaids. Yeah, but there's no scientific evidence to prove their existence. Well, that's because they live in the ocean and are really good at hiding. Come on, SpongeBob. You really believe there are half human, all fish creatures swimming around out there? Absolutely. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll even get to meet one. I highly doubt that. Well, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick. What do you want to do today? That's a great idea. What do you have in mind? Well, we could play something like underwater volleyball, but with a twist. I like it. What's the twist? We'll use jellyfish instead of a ball. Wow, that's a great idea. But won't the jellyfish sting us? Not if we were special jellyfish proof balls. Brilliant. 
And what about the net? Mm, maybe we could use seaweed or kelp. Perfect! So how do we win the game? You have to score a point by getting the jellyfish over the net and onto the other side without getting stung. Sounds like a lot of fun. Let's call it Jelly Bell. Yeah! Uh, we can invite all our underwater friends to play. This will be the best underwater sport ever invented. I knew we could do it, SpongeBob. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you heard about the new Sigma rules? No, what are those? They're a set of rules that are used to improve productivity in businesses and organizations. They help teams to work more efficiently together. Oh, uh, that sounds interesting. Do you know any of these rules? Yeah, there are a bunch of different ones, but some examples include setting clear goals, measuring progress, and encouraging communication. Those all sound like good things. Do you think we could use them in our daily lives? Absolutely. The Sigma rules can be applied to any situation where people are working together to achieve a common goal. Well, I'm not sure how to implement them all, but I'm willing to give it a try. Maybe we can start by setting some clear goals for our next jellyfishing expedition. That's a great idea, Patrick. And remember, one of the Sigma rules is to continuously improve. So even if we stumble along the way, we can always learn and improve for the future. Got it. Let's put these Sigma rules into action and become the best jellyfishers ever. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick. What up? Hey, SpongeBob. Not much. Just thinking about stuff. What kind of stuff? Well, you know, stuff. Um, no, I don't know. What kind of stuff are you thinking about? I, oh, no, I was thinking about maybe having sexual relations. I think in a back. What? Patrick, we're friends. I don't think we should do this sort of thing. Oh, come on, SpongeBob. It's just between friends. I think we would both enjoy it. I don't think that's a good idea, Patrick. Our friendship could be ruined if we did something like that. Uh, come on. We're both adults. We can handle it. I'm sorry, Patrick, but I don't want to risk our friendship over something like this. I think it's best if we just stay friends and don't do anything sexual with each other. Say, yeah, you're probably right. I guess I was just feeling lonely and thought about trying something new. But I understand and respect your decision. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you ever thought about time travel? Time travel? What's that? It's a way to go back or forward in time. Like in those sci-fi movies. Ooh, that sounds cool. Can we time travel? I don't know, Patrick. Time travel is just a theory. We don't even know if it's possible. But what if it was possible? I would get back to my childhood and relive all my favorite moments. That would be awesome. But what about causing a paradox? Changing something in the past could have a huge impact on the future. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, what if we accidentally stepped on a butterfly in the Custard Hurricane years later? Exactly. Time travel can be dangerous and unpredictable. We need to be careful. Um, I guess you're right. Maybe time travel. Better left is a mystery. Or maybe someday, some genius scientist will discover how to time travel safely. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Hey, let's go get ice cream instead. Good idea, Patrick. Let's enjoy the present moment. A few moments later. Patrick, have you ever seen a mermaid before? Nope, but I've heard stories about them. They're beautiful fish creatures that live in the sea. I don't know, Patrick. I've been living under the sea my whole life, and I've never seen one. I'm starting to think they're just myths. But, SpongeBob, why are there so many stories about them if they're not real? I think mermaids are just really good at hiding. I don't think that's possible, Patrick. We have a pretty good view of the ocean floor, and I haven't seen any evidence of them. Well, maybe they only come out at night when we're sleeping. Or maybe they live in secret underwater caves. I don't know, Patrick. It just seems unlikely. Plus, you know helmets can sometimes get blown out of proportion. But don't you want to believe in mermaids? 
Oh, I think it would be so cool to meet one. Of course, I'd love to meet a mermaid, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Maybe we should just stick to what we know is real, like jellyfish and Krabby Patties. You're no fun, SpongeBob. I'm going to keep believing in mermaids until I see one for myself. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you ever wondered about the meaning of life? Um, what do you mean by that, pal? I mean, why are we here? What's our purpose? Oh, that's easy. We're here to eat Krabby Patties and have fun. Really, Patrick? Is that all there is to life? Just eating and having fun. Well, what else is there? Maybe there's more to life than just pleasure. Maybe we're here to help others and make the world a better place. Um, that's a good point. But how can we do that exactly? Well, we can start by being kind to others, being generous with our time and resources, and spreading happiness wherever we go. I see what you mean. So life is all about helping others and making the world a happy place? Yes, I think that's the key. When we make others happy, we find happiness ourselves. And that's what life is all about. Ooh, SpongeBob, that's deep. What the... Thanks, Patrick. I think we just figured out the meaning of life. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, I was thinking, what if we invented a new underwater sport? Oh, boy, that sounds like so much fun. What do you have in mind? Well, how about we play a game where we toss a jellyfish back and forth? We could call it Jellyfish Toss? And have made some obstacles. Like, we could have to jump over some rocks or swim through rings. Oh, I like that idea, Patrick. We could even have time rounds and a winner at the end. Yes, and we could customize our own jellyfish with fun colors and patterns. And maybe we could even have different categories, like speed or accuracy. This is going to be the best sport ever invented. I can already imagine all the other sea creatures joining in and having a blast with us. I can't wait to get started on it. Let's go collect some jellyfish and get this game started. All right, let's go. But first, let me grab my jellyfish catching net. Safety first, Patrick. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you ever thought about the concept of parallel universes? Parallel now? Parallel universes? It's the idea that there could be multiple versions of ourselves living in different dimensions or realities. What? I get it, so, like, there could be a world where I'm not your best friend. Look sad? Don't worry, Patrick. I don't think that's possible. But there could be a world where we're not living in Bikini Bottom or where we're not even a sponge in Starfish. Ooh, that's crazy. Do you think there's a world where we're superheroes or something? A laughs. Maybe there is, Patrick. Or maybe there's a world where we're supervillains. Exactly. Well, that would be so cool. I'd have a giant laser and wear a cape. Chuckles. Well, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, Patrick. The idea of parallel universes is just a theory. But it's a fun theory. It makes me wonder what other versions of ourselves could be out there. Exactly, Patrick. Who knows what kind of adventures and experiences are happening in those other dimensions? It sure is mint blowing to think about. Thinking of them. I wonder if there's a world out there where I'm a genius. Laughs. I joins in on the laughter. That would be something to see, Patrick. Until we find a way to travel to those parallel worlds, all we can do is imagine. Really? Yeah, but just think about the possibilities. A world with an unlimited supply of jellyfish or a world where the crusty crab has free crabby patties. But Winnie. Oh, I like the sound of the last one. Let's go find the portal to this universe. Both laugh. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you heard of the Sigma Rules? No, what are Sigma Rules? They're basically a set of rules that are designed to help people be more productive and efficient. Oh, got it. What are some of the Sigma Rules? Well, there's the Fives Rule, which stands for Sort Set in Order, Shine. Standardize and sustain. It's a workplace organization method that helps reduce waste and improve efficiency. That sounds complicated. Are there more rules? Yes, there's also the Mac rule, 
which is used in project management to identify and solve problems. It stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control. Mm. That sounds useful. Do you use these rules at the Krusty Krab? Yes, Mr. Krabs is a big fan of the Sigma rules. We use them to make our kitchen more efficient and reduce waste. Oh, I had no idea there were so many rules for being productive. I'm gonna have to start using them in my daily life. Definitely, Patrick. Following these rules can help you get more done and be more successful. A few moments later. Patrick, something feels strange. Do you ever get the feeling that maybe we're not really living in this pineapple under the sea, but we are actually part of some kind of simulation? Oh, what do you mean, Sponge? I don't think I understand. I mean, what if all of our thoughts and actions are predetermined by some kind of computer program, and we don't even have the ability to make our own decisions? Oh, whoa, that's a pretty deep fight, Sponge. But if it's true, what can we do about it? Well, we could try to break free from the simulation, Patrick. If we can figure out how the program is controlling us, maybe we can find a way to escape those constraints and become truly independent. Oh, that sounds like a pretty big challenge, Sponge. I know, but we have to try. Otherwise, we'll just be stuck here forever, living off this artificial existence without any real purpose. Okay, Sponge. So how do we start? First, Let's observe everything around us more closely. We need to look for any signs that might reveal the nature of the simulation and the programs that control us. Then, we can start to form a plan on how to break free. Got it, Sponge. Let's get to work. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you ever wondered what it would be like to travel through time? Time travel? Huh? I don't know what that means. Well, it's like revisiting the past or jumping into the future before it happens. Oh, that sounds cool. How do we start? Actually, time travel is not possible yet, but people have come up with theories on how it could happen. Whoa, that's deep. What kind of theories? Some scientists believe that time is like a river, and if we can find a way to swim upstream, we can go back in time. Ooh, that's crazy. Can we do that? What? <laughs> not yet, but some people are working on it. Another theory says that if we could travel faster than the speed of light, we could eventually go back in time. Ooh, I didn't know light had a speed. What if we got it for back in time and changed something important like saving Gary from the clutch of evil doodle Bob? That's the risk with time travel. You could change something in the past that alters the present or future. It's a paradox. Ooh, a pair of socks! I like a pair of socks! No, not a pair of socks. A paradox is like when the past and the future contradict each other. Like when I eat too much ice cream and I get a bread and freeze. No, not like that. But even if time travel became possible in the future, we should be careful about messing with the timeline. It's important to preserve the fabric of time for future generations. Ooh! That's some heavy stuff. Yeah, it is. But for now, let's stick to having fun in the present. Maybe someday in the future, we'll get to experience time travel. Okay, sounds like a plan. Who knows, maybe in the future, I'll finally catch that jellyfish named Fred. Laughs? Anything is possible in the future, Patrick. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you ever seen a mermaid before? No, but I've heard of them. Why do you ask? Well, I was swimming around yesterday and I thought I saw one. But then I thought maybe it was just a big fish. I don't believe in mermaids. They're just made up creatures like unicorns. What? You don't believe in mermaids? They're real creatures, I'm sure of it. Come on, SpongeBob. Nobody has ever seen a real mermaid in the history of the world. It's just a mite. But there are so many stories about them. And what about sailors who claim they saw mermaids? Oh, please. Sailors have been at sea for weeks and months. They start seeing things that aren't there. It's probably just a way to keep themselves entertained. I don't know, Patrick. I just feel like there's something magical about mermaids. Maybe one day we'll see one for ourselves. 
If you say so, SpongeBob. Well, I'm not holding my breath. Mermaids are just a fairy tale. Well, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree, Patrick. But I'm staying hopeful that one day we'll see a real-life mermaid. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you ever thought about inventing a new underwater sport? No, I haven't, SpongeBob. But now that you mention it, sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I was thinking we could combine lots of different sports and make something completely unique. Um, I like the sound of that. What sports did you have in mind? Well, how? Well, we start with swimming, then add in some basketball, and maybe some volleyball, too. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, well, how can we play basketball and volleyball underwater? Um, good point. Maybe we could use a special ball that is designed to work underwater. Great idea, SpongeBob. We could make the ball out of a waterproof made real and fill it with water for extra weight. Yes, and maybe we could also create special hooks and nets that can work underwater. And we could even make the game more challenging by eating obstacles like seaweed or rocks so that the players have to swim around. Yes, and we can call the sport Aqua Basket Volley. Brilliant. Let's make the rules and start practicing now. I'm ready when you are, Patrick. The first ever Aqua Basket Volley champions. Here we come. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick. Do you know anything about Sigma rules? Sigma what? Sigma rules. They're a set of rules and principles used to make sure everyone in a group is on the same page and working towards the same goal. It's pretty important stuff. Like the rules we have when we hang out. Yeah, sort of. It's like having a contract that everyone agrees to follow so we can all work together better. That makes sense. So what kind of rules are in the Sigma rules? It can be anything from communication guidelines, to decision-making processes, to conflict resolution strategies. The idea is that when we all follow these rules, we'll be more productive and work better together. Oh, I see. So we had Sigma rules when we go jellyfishing. We could get more done and have more fun, right? Exactly. And if we ever have any disagreements or issues, we can work it out better if we're all following the same rules. Gotcha! So what do we need to do to start following Sigma rules? We just need to agree on what rules we want to have, and then everyone in our group needs to commit to following them. It's that simple? Awesome. Let's get started. I want to catch all the jellies this time. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, I'm getting bored of jellyfishing. Let's come up with a new sport to play underwater. Oh, I love making up new things. What do you have in mind? Well, we could combine swimming with dancing. We'll call it swim dancing. Mm, that sounds fun. But what exactly do you mean? Okay, so imagine this. We swim around wild and dance moves at the same time. It'll be like a synchronized swimming competition, but with funky dance moves. I get it now. We can get other sea creatures to join in too, and if teams competing against each other? Yes, and the judges can score us based on how well we perform the dance moves while swimming. We'll have to come up with some cool moves. I can do the jellyfish gym dance while swimming. And I can do the goopy goober dance. Woo! This is gonna be the best sport ever invented in Bikini Bottom. Let's start practicing right away. We'll be the first ones to perform it in front of everyone on jellyfish fields. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you ever wondered if there are other universes out there? Other universes? What do you mean, SpongeBob? Well, you know, like parallel universes where things are different from our own universe. Well, I get it. Like maybe there's a universe where we're not friends. Yeah, or a universe where we are different creatures altogether, or the Krusty Krab doesn't exist, or the possibilities are endless. Oh, that's crazy. It's like we're living in one universe, but there are lots of other universes out there just waiting to be discovered. Or... Exactly, and who knows, maybe one day we'll even find a way to travel to these parallel universes and see what they're like for ourselves. Oh, that would be so cool. But well, how would we know which universe to go to first? Good point. 
Maybe we can use a special device or something to help us navigate through the different universes. Yeah, I got both a parallelometer. Alas, I love it, Patrick. That's a great idea. Yeah, and we could use it to see all the different versions of ourselves in other universes. It would be mind blowing. Alas, I can imagine. But one thing's for sure, Patrick. The universe is a lot bigger and more complex than we ever imagined. Smilling! And that's what makes life so fun and exciting, SpongeBob. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick. What are you up to today? Not much, Sponge. Just hanging out. What about you? Honestly, I was kind of hoping we could talk about something. Sure. Anything you want to talk about? Well, you know, I'm always curious about things. And lately, I've been thinking a lot about sex. Oh, what about it? I don't know. I just feel like maybe I'm missing out on something. Like, maybe I should try it, but I'm not really sure how to go about it or to do it with. <laughs> I see what you mean. Well, if you want, I'd be willing to have sex with you. I'm surprised, really. You'd, you'd be willing to do that with me. Of course, Sponge. We're best friends, and I care about you. I'd do anything to help you out. Ah, uh, thoughtful. I appreciate that, Patrick. But I don't know if that's something I'm ready for yet. I think I need some more time to figure things out. That's okay, Sponge. You shouldn't rush into anything you're not comfortable with. Just know that I'm here for you, whatever you need. Smiling? Thanks, Patrick. You always know just what to say. A few moments later. Hey, Patrick, have you ever wondered what it would be like to travel through time? Time travel? That's like going back and forth in time, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, think about it. 